So the truth is, is that you really don't need expensive pool chemicals and pool cleaning equipment. You actually might already have these things in your home already. We're gonna talk about it, so let's dive in. Okay, quick disclaimer. We're gonna be talking about pool chemistry, and so whenever you're dealing with chemicals, make sure to wear chemical-resistant gloves and chemical-resistant goggles. So we're gonna talk about four household products that you may already have in your home that can help you clean your pool. Let's get into it. The first thing, you definitely have this in your home. If you don't, I would be shocked, but baking soda. Baking soda is an excellent cleaner. You can mix a little bit of water, a lot of baking soda and make a paste and that'll be really helpful to clean tile and grout in your in-ground pool. Baking soda also increases the alkalinity in your pool water. You can actually sprinkle or broadcast baking soda in your pool and you need 1.5 pounds of baking soda for 10,000 gallons of water which will raise your alkalinity 10 parts per million. It'll help clean your pool and it will increase your pool's alkalinity. Now, you might have some sodium hypochlorite in your house. Where would you have it? It would probably be in your laundry room and it would be called bleach or Clorox bleach. I'm not paid. They're not sponsoring this. If you have grout in your in-ground pool between the tiles, bleach is a great way to get rid of any stains that can form in that grout. And bleach can also be used to shock your swimming pool. So what is shock? I, real quick, I just want to point out that shocking is an actual act and not a product. So I know that there's products called shock out there, but shocking is the act of super chlorinating your water to kill all the bacteria in your pool. You want to get that chlorine as high as possible. And if you add one gallon of bleach per 10,000 gallons of water, you're going to raise your chlorine level five parts per million. So you're gonna need a lot of gallons of bleach in order to shock your pool, but if you have a bunch of gallons of bleach lying around and you wanna use that instead of liquid chlorine or powdered shock, you can absolutely do that. Uh, real quick, just make sure that if you're gonna be using bleach, don't use like the thick kind and don't use scented bleach. Just regular, plain old bleach. That's, that's all you need. All right, real quick, we have two more, but I wanna do a quick, that was the chair, that was the chair. This video is technically sponsored by our very own product. It's how we keep the lights on here at Swim University. It is called the Pool Care Handbook and Video Course. It is a massive, massive, multi-hour video course teaching you everything you need to know about pool care, and it includes a 300 plus page digital illustrated ebook with charts and graphs and everything you need to know to help you take care of your swimming pool and because you're watching this video, you get a special deal. If you use the promo code video at checkout, the promo code is video at checkout, you will get 10% off. So thanks for watching. Now, I don't know if you're gonna have this stuff around, but it is actually really cheap and it's called muriatic acid. Now, muriatic acid is an acid. If you have it around your house or if you wanna use it, it can be used for two things. One, it can clean cartridge filters and soak either your grids, your fingers, not your actual fingers, your DE fingers if you have a Hayward DE filter, and your cartridges in that solution, and it will actually help degrease and clean those filters. Now you can also use muriatic acid to lower your pool's alkalinity, and it's hard to say how much it's gonna need, so what you need to do is test your water before you add any muriatic acid to lower your alkalinity, and you can use an online pool calculator, which we will include here at the bottom, to tell you how much muriatic acid you're gonna need to lower your pool's alkalinity. You can also find charts in our pool care handbook. So everything is there that you need in order to figure out how much muriatic acid you need to lower your pool's alkalinity. So muriatic acid, it does all kinds of things. All right, the last thing, you may find this also in your laundry room, it's borate. What is borate? It may not be called borate, it could be called borax. And if you have it, it can actually be used for a few things. It's similar to baking soda in the fact that you can make a paste out of it and use it to clean tile or grout or sticky parts of your pool. You can use it for that. You can also use it to raise pH. And what I would do is add about a half a cup for every 10,000 gallons and then retest after about 15 minutes after it circulates, see where you are because you really don't need much to really raise the pH in your pool. 
that's it. If you missed anything or you think I missed anything, please leave a message in the comments. I'll be happy to answer it and maybe produce a future video. Also, if you need more information, please go to swimuniversity.com. Everything that you need is there. And if you wanna subscribe to our channel on YouTube to get more videos like this, please do so. That's it, happy swimming.